So I'm here with my good friend, uh, the Minister of Environment for Rwanda, Vincent Bruda, and we just co-hosted an event um, uh, encouraging people to sign the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol. And you might be wondering, okay, what is the Montreal Protocol and why, what's this amendment? The Montreal Protocol uh, is celebrating its 30th anniversary, and it is the most successful treaty ever. Not just the most successful environmental treaty, most successful treaty everywhere, ratified by the, by the entire world. And it's really important because you may remember the hole in the ozone layer. When I was growing up as a kid, I was really worried about it, and I wondered if leaders were going to step up. But using good science, working with business uh, to figure out solutions around aerosols and refrigerants, uh, we were able to come up with uh, a solution to help repair the hole in the ozone layer. So now we're working on the amendments to the Montreal Protocol. And so Vincent, why don't you talk to us about this, um, the Kigali Amendment that you worked so hard and successfully to get? Yes, the Kigali Amendment to the Montreal Protocol is very important because it will allow us to phase out the hydrofluorocarbons which are friendly to the ozone layer but are contributing to the global warming. By adopting the Chigari Amendment and by implementing it, we will be able to avoid up to 0.5 degrees Celsius global warming. And if we pair that with uh, the energy efficiency measures, we will be able to go up to 1 degree Celsius, which is a huge contribution to the achievement of the yeah, I mean, it's really amazing when you think about the Paris Agreement, and we've said we've got to keep temperatures well below 2 degrees, striving for 1.5 degrees. If we could keep global warming, we could stop an increase by 1 degree. That is huge, and it's very, very practical. Sometimes people say Paris Agreement targets are too far down the road to understand this, but this is a very practical thing. So how many countries do we need to do to ratify? We need 20 countries to ratify and uh, have this Chigari Amendment enter uh, into force. So good news, you and I are working on this because we're going to have uh, the next meeting of the Montreal Protocol in Montreal in November, and we're going to have 20 countries that are going to have ratified, aren't we? Rwanda has ratified already. Okay, Canada <laughs> is going to ratify, we're well on our way, but that's great. Yes, I'm confident that we'll have 20 ratifications very soon, and that implementation will go faster than what is provided for in the and as you said, this is, I mean, it's so important for global warming, uh, the sustainable development goals that talk about climate change. Um, but it's also, in the end of the day, it's about our kids. And this is about a better future and uh, saving our planet. So we have to do it. And thank Let's you. Do it. Let's do it. All Let's right. Do it. We're going to high five now.